All right, so we have a couple cutting stations. You can see all of the rebar is stationed down here. They drop it down in the hole. You don't want to be handing it bar by bar when you're down here, right? <laughs> you want to make sure you have everything down here. I see you have a cutting station over there, so you can cut all the rebar to the length you want. But this is a pretty nifty little tool here. And, you know, you, you've said something earlier to me that I've heard pretty much for the last 30 years, work smarter, not harder. That's right. Right. So this is a, you know, typical uh, or not to say atypical <laughs> bending machine. So a lot of times you get the rebar and it might come pre-bent from a factory. You go through the shop drawings and they just send you, you know, 300 pieces of bent rebar. But if you want to do it out on the site and kind of manufacture or fabricate it yourself, then you need some kind of tool. Right. So he's going to let me, this is my first time bending it. So <laughs> Bear with me. I'm told I just pull the trigger here. That's right, nice and slow. And then the release is. The release right here. So. Almost a night. I overbent it a little. <laughs> We'd have to bend that back. Okay. But uh, I mean, you pull the trigger and bam, there you it's go. Easy. It so. beats it beats our uh, hand hand you know rebar bender wow. that we have. It's hot. Oh, it is. <laughs> All That's right, crazy. so so there you have it, folks. We're down here in the hole. Dan, thanks for uh, you know giving us all your quick tips and sharing your uh, vast experience of putting these together. Um, we'll we'll come back at you more as this you know project uh, progresses, and we'll talk about you know when the bracing is up and try and get out here when they're uh, casting the walls and all of that. But thanks for uh, the tips and the uh, initial layout. From the Build Show, Steve Basic Architect, until next time. Okay.